hello welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'll be showing you everything you need to know about the dimension tool in revit basically exploring some hidden property you can tweak or change to suit your drawing at any point in time so to access the dimension function you can hit di on your keyboard or you go to the annotate tab and you come here and select dimension for this i'll be using the aligned dimension and if you notice when you select the dimension you have this op um, option here to select what part you want to dimension do you want to dimension from wall face to wall face or from center line to center line or center of core face of course so for this video we'll be using the wall face then we'll be picking individual references so for example you want to get this dimension and first things first if we want to edit this dimension property everything we need to know we come to the properties tab and we click edit type so we can duplicate this and say dimension star one click ok so the first option here is dimension string type and is currently set to continuous okay before that let me do something I click ok and yeah i come here edit witness line then i continue this dimension like this and like this okay so we go back to sorry we select the dimension then go back to this so currently set to continuous that's why we have a long stretch if we change this to baseline you watch what we have when we click apply it gives you the dimension from the starting point to all other points you picked with the witness line when it's on base line then if we change it to ordinates and click apply it gives you the dimension from one point to the next point then from the same point to the next point like this now ordinates dimension so for the purpose of this video we leave it as continuous then the leader type we is currently set to arc and this is what a leader is if you click ok and for example if i move this text if i move it yeah so this is an arc so we select this then we can change it to a line if that's what you want then the leader tick mark what we have this you can use arrow open you have it here or field 30 degree you can see it change here so that's about leaders then show leader when text moves beyond witness line so we saw that it was when i dragged the text beyond the witness line that's when it showed the arrow if you want to change it to when it moved away from origin you can do that so once you just move it away from the origin it automatically gives you that so depending on what you want to do you can leave it like that then the tick mark this is a tick mark at every point where you add a witness line you are going to have a tick mark so here is currently set to diagonal 3mm you can change it to few dots 3mm and okay let me pause it and what if you want to reduce this to field dots 1mm where and how do you change it 
you quickly come to your manage tab additional settings and you come to array so this is where you have everything few dots can duplicate and create one mm then one then you come back here edit type and changes to few dot one mm then it has changed you can see the size of the data reduced so the line width for this line is set to one if you increase it to five you see that it becomes thicker then take it back to one then tick mark line width the line width of this tick is currently set to four if you increase it it becomes bolder so it's just for you to know what this means in respect to your, your drive then dimension line extension is this distance the distance between this point and this point here is currently set to 3 mm if i reduce it to one goes back in so depending on what you want can take you back then witness line control is currently fixed to the dimension line so what controls this witness line is this dimension line then witness line length so the length of this to this is 2.4 change it to 6 goes down so it's basically what you want can adjust the witness line extension blah 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 okay so let's just go to okay here yeah, the text underline italic bold text size to so change the size of this text you change it here so if it changes to five it changes then text offset the distance between the text and the dimension line if it changes to 0 0.2 it goes down then the reading convention depending on how you read basically the most common type of reading is from left to right so you leave it as up then left so in case you rotate your drawing whichever is readable to you you change it here then text font text background is currently set to opaque so if you have a color under this you are going to have like a border white fill around it then the unit formats here you can do one or two things it's currently set to use project settings and you have all these grayed out if you untick this we can do some rounding up here so you can round up to the nearest 1000 nearest 100 nearest 10 so okay let's click okay okay for example so let's imagine this distance is one two three four five points blah 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 so let us imagine something like this so we come here we come to units format you round to one decimal place you see it here units format come here to two decimal places you see it here Units format you run to the nearest 10 does that for you and then you can if you want to put your unit behind the text like this you do it here so basically there's just um, then this one digits grouping when you have long numbers let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine then you are going to have like one two three then a space three four five like that so but i'll take you back to use project settings then it apply and alternate units if i want to have 
um, an alternate unit below it I can have it here so once of an alternate unit I can just do that yeah and we also have it in feet and fractional inches so that is that then you also have a prefix or suffix to the unit yeah then to show opening height uh, i'll have to put a door in this project or a window okay so if the shortcut for door is dr so this is like a default rapid door and if i dimension this way yes okay and i select this dimension change back to dimension style easy okay let's use this old one click on edit come here to click show open height so it shows me the height at which this door opens for structure show structural opening without going to the section and you can confirm it from here you see 2134 two, so that works you come back to edit type what else do we have to suppress spaces or equality text okay so if you have say a wall like this and like this ETI then you want to let's say you do from center to center and you click on this dimension you see this EQ is showing that is they are not currently equal so if I click on it it changes to EQ but in the real sense I want this dimension to show how do I change it I come to edit type then equality text is currently set to EQ then equality formula is okay yeah then to change it to the existing dimension I click on ok and I come here equality display show the value so oh you can show equality formula but is the value you want so the final thing about um dimension what this is a disclaimer to anybody using this particular method is not advisable to falsify your drawing dimensions but in a very important or urgent case where you have to change dimensions like AutoCAD for example this is currently two to five zero millimeters apart so in order to change this to one two zero zero millimeters without moving these walls how do i do that if i double click it you see this use actual value as two two five zero if i replace it with one two zero zero for example click on ok it gives me this error and apply error then I can change it right okay but I'll come here click on this right click here then come to insert unicode control characters and select left to right mark so i insert my text then click ok and boom that is that so i can come back here sorry i can come back to this text and use actual value so that is that about for fine dimensions so i hope you've learned something new from this video and if you have please kindly share and like this video and drop a comment if you really love this video thank you very much and see you in my next video